Milan going eyeball to eyeball with their rivals one more time. A day for parading of colours, a day for pride, a day for partisanship, perhaps a day for personalities who will prevail over what could potentially turn into 90 minutes of bedlam. It's time we ask that age-old question again. Who is going to come out on top this time? Thrilling scenes here too, so much in line with Atalanta's reputation as the great entertainers of Italian football. Familiar feeling this for you, Jim? Well, you know my record in derbies, Peter, but despite all that, it's, it's an experience I savoured. Yes, there's an awful lot of pressure amidst an atmosphere that's as intense as it comes. You've got to deal with that pressure. It is our understanding that they've gone with a 4-5-1. Well, if you want to secure a clean sheet, Peter, this is a very good way of going about it. It adds discipline and lends a stubbornness to that midfield, which can stifle opposition attempts to, to play through, and it takes a lot of pressure off your defence, of course. Forces longer passes through the aerial route. So, all things considered, that extra layer across midfield is highly, highly effective. And as you can see, we've already started here. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Now it's Bruno Fernandes. Now the finish! Well, that's an excellent interception. It's loose now, and they want to get it back. He's had a shot! Surely this time! Goal, Milan! Some heroic goalkeeping, but even that couldn't save them this time. Well, that's not the best attempt by the keeper, and he's just paid the ultimate price, hasn't he? <laughs> Milan breakthrough nice and early, just as they wanted it. Looking for the run, and the flag has stayed down. Decent hit! Well, that is rather wayward. Well, talking about a man on a mission, that was a super effort. That's good pressing, squeezing the play. Now he's off and running. Oh, that's a key interception. Well, he's felt that, hasn't he? Some good work on the right flank here. Bruno Fernandes delivers. There's some great running on show here, but ultimately there was no way through. And that's a good ball. Chance to shoot! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Works it forward. Rafael Toloi spots it and intercepts. Scalvini. Ah, he's had it taken off him. Looking for the runner. And that same goes in for the header. Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Well, this is simple. The supply is to be admired. The defending is to be admonished. Pasalic is there, and he can get that clear. Milan are enjoying this surprise lead. He's shifting through the gears here. Oh, that's fabulous. Oh, he's enjoyed that. He evidently loves the contest. Good minus. The Ketelara. Bops him off it and wins back the ball. 
It's the sort of situation that they'll want to capitalise on now. Strong running down that left flank. He's taking on the lot of them. Cross is blocked, and that's a corner. It might not be such a bad idea playing this short and into feet. Yeah, they've got to find a way around this huge height disadvantage. And he gets rid in a hurry. It's gone for a throw in. Now here's the delivery. Not pretty, but it gets the job done. 15 minutes till half time. Milan leading here thanks to that early goal. And the score is 1 0. Well, the defence proved infallible then, but that won't be the last they'll see of him. And he's in on goal. Has a goal! They've done it! And there's the goal they've been looking for. Well, we've seen the hunger to win it back and the focus to make it count. A very tasty combination. Milan grab a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. We're looking at a very different game now, the command has been established. Has a shot! Oh, that wasn't far away. Milan have their third corner. Atalanta can start a counter here. Lookman. Milan looking forward to the break after some very good work in the first 45 minutes. But they've got it again. We've got five minutes till half time. Driving forward. Goes to finish! Oh, surely that deserved better. That was created because of good, lively movement, which pretty much dictated the pass. Safa Costa. That is good pressure, just hounded him off it. Threads one in. And he's onside. In towards the middle. Gets his head to it. Oh, the kick has done ever so well. Really looked sharp there, didn't he? That's very well played. And this could be the final action of the first half. And that has been cleared. Lookman. And the referee brings the first half to a close. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Well, you'd have to say it's a game that has very much lived up to the pre-game expectations. Passions running pretty high, rivals going at each other 100 miles an hour. You wonder whether they can keep this up. Milan sitting pretty here at half-time, 2-0 up. There's the start of the second half. Well, that pass isn't the best. Well, there is a look that says it all. A piercing stare. Ah, oh, he made it look a bit predictable. Coop minus. That is lovely. The shot! Loose ball now, and there's a chase on to retrieve it. Oh. 
Bruno Fernandes. Milan do have a chance to counter here. Could have been dangerous, but it came to nothing. Safa Costa. Now, who's going to be first to this? Pinches it off him. Rafael Toloi. Defending was strong and firm. Bruno Fernandes. He is being harried and hassled. Yeah, they didn't smell the danger early enough, but I suppose better late than never. Safa Costa. Milan have really been terrific at snuffing out the threat. Now for something different. L'affluenza di quest'oggi è di 16.892 spettatori. Played over towards the opposite flank. Oh, well played. That has snuffed out the danger. Lutman looking for options for movement. Milan needed that. They really needed it. Well, I thought they got off lightly there. The odds were stacked against them. Couldn't quite squeeze that one through. Played in deep. Safa Costa. Rafael Toloi. Pressing high and with purpose. Nice physical challenge. And he ran himself into trouble there. Free kick given away. And that's going to be a booking. Well, sometimes a loose foul can trigger a completely different spell of play so and uh, it makes even less sense. Numero 22. Viene sostituito con il numero 23. That has been cut short. Nice interception. His positioning was spot on. That's a good ball out wide. Rafael Toloi cuts it out. Coop Miners. Safa Costa. And they're not going to make any further progress now. And he was alert to it. De Ketelara. Bruno Fernandes. And the keeper beats it away. Oh, good ball. Look like 3 0 for sure. Well, his movement has certainly picked up. He's got that decisive goal on his mind. Leading by two, and the finishing line in sight. He is through here. Well, that is good. Super running, sharp movement. Came up against a defender, though, who was ever so determined. Just too high. Sostituzione per l'Atalanta. Numero 7. We have got changes numero here 77. from both sides, in fact. Lasciano il campo per il numero 32. Il numero 32. No unnecessary risks, and the game is petering out here. Well time, excellent interception. Zaniolo. They've got to be quick moving this forward. And he's managed to gift it back. And it's Pasalic. He cuts out the supply. And the referee brings it to a close. 
So smiles all round as they shamelessly indulge in the post-whistle euphoria. A win achieved through the right balance of industry and inspiration. A really satisfying day's work. The end of the game. Reflections? That is a superb win. This is one of those games where the result justifies whatever means. Just look at the, the players celebrating with the fans. Well, a very good evening to you wherever you are. I do hope that you can join me in appreciating this truly beautiful evening, a night that is absolutely ideal for a game of football. The scenes here really are something, a beautiful picture under the floodlights, traffic and transport round here, not the kindest, but regardless of that, the fans have found a way of getting here. There is a sense of theatre and the decibel levels are rising. Red and black, wherever you turn, the San Siro is buzzing. Certainly up for this one. How are you reading this formation, Jim Beglin? Well, this setup, Peter, can be very defensive if that midfield is in place purely to form a protective layer in front of the back four. But it can also be the launch pad to very quick counter attacks if you can offer pace and accuracy on the front foot. It can have a, a devastating effect, actually at the offensive end of the pitch too and already we're underway here he's found can he put it away 
Yeah, they were looking for a counter-attack. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. That's a good ball out wide. Shapes to shoot! Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Milan breakthrough nice and early, just as they wanted it. Some good work on the right flank here. So, what can they make of this? Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes delivers. Oh, good ball, shot. He's had a shot! And he hits the net! Not one, but two. It is a dream start. Well, it's taken a big deflection, but, boy, he will want that one. Milan take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. And things are much healthier in their favour. Mind you, you would have thought that when the last one went in. Milan look comfortable already. Two to the good and flying. That's a terrific surge down the right. There's the shot! That is decidedly lacking. Well, the most exciting sight on a football pitch. He had too much trickery for that defence. Brilliant. More and more pressure on the ball here. Milan have hit a quick-fire double here and are well and truly in the driving seat. Oh, Super Bowl! Loose ball now, and there's a chase on to retrieve it. Well, that wasn't too dissimilar to the previous attempt. They're just lacking a cutting edge, Peter, and while that's fairly obvious, the rest of their attacking play is actually quite good. And he gets rid in a hurry. Throw it. Oh, good ball. Great chance! And it's there! And that for him is goal number ten. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, for me, you can't fault the keeper there. The effort went in at the widest possible point off the upright. Nothing he could do. And yes, it's him again. Milan find a position of real strength now. Tessina. Oh, it's a sweet ball, that. He's beaten the offside trap. Milan upping the intensity here, having lost possession. Yeah, it's actually very good pressing. They want it back as quickly as they can get it. And they're hunting in packs to do just that. Good to watch. It really is. It's rugged and robust, but it still needs plenty of intelligence and, and teamwork. Plays the ball back. That's tidy. Well, that is good. Super running, sharp movement. Came up against a defender, though, who was ever so determined. Bruno Fernandes! It's a goal! And again! 
They simply do not know what has hit them. The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. Oh, that's wonderful to see. The run was explosive, the finish exquisite. It's become a case of men against boys. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looking to, to cause even more damage here. D'Ambrosio. And it's D'Ambrosio. Pablo Mari. The pass has gone astray. And he's on a charge. Half time coming up, and little doubt as to which of the two sides is the happier. There's the hit! And that has been clubbed away. Enjoy this time. Gagliardini. And there's his chance to lead the counter. That is ended up in no man's land. They'll want to make the most of this turnover. Pinches it off him. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. In with the challenge. Ci saranno tre minuti di recupero. Cristiano Ronaldo. Shot a goal! He's got a goal! And it is becoming almost too painful to watch. Where to next? Well, I think we've reached the point when even damage limitations is, is no longer an option. Milan totally rampant here. Oh, that's delightful. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, well played, well sorted out. And that'll be the last act of the first half. It has been a half throughout which they have carved through the opposition almost at will, ripping things up big time here. Milan have been more or less perfect, I would say. Their manager's all smiles, and he's got every reason to be. Milan have continued without Foss to do their thing. They have impressed hugely in the first 45 minutes, and this is the very least they deserve for their splendid endeavours. Already up and running for the second half. So both teams emerge the same as they were before the break. Now, what about a counter-attack? Gently done. Cristiano Ronaldo. Can he spark a counter here? Can he get it through? He's taking on the lot of them. Showing good feet. He is through here. He's dealt with that really well. Oh, he's enjoyed that. He evidently loves the contest. Interesting ball. He's got away. And the shots! Well, he certainly wasn't in the mood to take any risks. Out of play for a throw.
He's shifting through the gears here. Well, the defence just about came out on top, but they were certainly tested. Oh, that's neat. And he's gone backward here. He's had a hit! Oh, almost a sixth! Well, I think a little eagerness just got the better of him. He may have been thinking about back-page headlines there. Oh, that's fabulous. This is the time you need that pace. Strong running down that left flank. Aim forwards. Goalkeeper's ball. They need to play this quicker in transitions like this. Well, the defence proved infallible then, but that won't be the last they'll see of him. Casino. And it's been taken straight back. He's picked his chance! And he couldn't keep it down. Another example of how comfortable this team is on the break. Attenzione, un cambio. So the manager can make a change for the first time in the game here. Well, Peter, I don't think there's anything tactical or injury-related here. I think it's just all about the push for a goal now. No, that's been intercepted. A lot of space here, a real opportunity. Lovely bit of skill. 75 minutes played. Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes! It's in! And there's your hat-trick hero. He is simply indefatigable. Look, all they want to hear right now is the final whistle. They've been humiliated. And there was his third, and boy, he looks the business. Doesn't he just? Uh, this has been an immense contribution from one player. He's been just about unplayable. The irresistible force today. So time for change. And this one has been on the cards for a little while. Yeah, I just think that's really good management. Introducing one of his younger players when the pressure's totally off. Just allowing him some valuable easy on-field experience time. D'Ambrosio promptly onto that. And that is that. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. And that's going to be a booking. Sostituzione per il Milan. Numero 5. Viene sostituito con il numero 10. D'Ambrosio. Milan have now used up all but one of their substitution windows. Well, the boss won't be happy about that at all. They were pedestrian in possession and carried almost no threat at all. Is there any support? He might not need it. Tries a shot! It's a loose ball. Well, he got rid because he was under pressure. He has saved the goalkeeper's blushes there. What great defending. Tessina. Shifted it to the flank. Could move up a gear here. Nicely weighted ball. Real chance! Oh, terrific save. Cambio di giocatore. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded and... As a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Ci saranno tre minuti di recupero. Looking for the runner. D'Ambrosio cuts it out. 
Had a time going up here, it's three minutes. Fiddles it through, pass somewhat off target. And they'll start all over again with the goalkeeper. Gagliardini. So that's it, it is all over. Well, that was a shimmering, sizzling, scintillating game. The key characters glittered throughout and did what they did when required so to do. There could be only one outcome. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Yeah, looking back on this, the early goal had a big influence on what unfolded and allowed them to dictate with comfort. They don't know enough, let my people spark, they don't own enough. 